I'm so excited to have you with me here today as we explore exactly what STEAM means. STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. And we are going to have fun exploring all of those different subjects by experimenting, rhyming, singing, reading books. We're just going to have a blast. And today we are exploring the three little pigs. Now I wonder why would we explore that story? Has anybody ever heard it before? Some of you? Well, even if you've heard it before, you're going to enjoy it. And if you haven't heard the three little pigs before, you're in for a treat because we are going to explore that story even more by building, engineering, um, an architectural masterpiece. Um, I will be using some Play-Doh and some cups and some other things to try to build a house that a wolf cannot huff and puff and blow down. So I think we're going to have a great time today and I'm so glad you're here. Let's sing and get this started. The more that we learn science, learn science, learn science, the more that we learn science, the happier we'll be. We'll know things and do things and explore many new things. The more that we learn science, the happier we'll be. Do you want to do it one more time? Yeah, let's do it. The more that we learn science, learn science, learn science, the more that we learn science, the happier we'll be. We'll know things and do things and explore many new things. The more that we learn science, the happier we'll be. Let's get started. Let's have some fun with rhyming. Now this rhyme is a personal favorite of mine because when I was little, my parents used to tell me this rhyme while they would tug on my little toesies and I would laugh so hard because it tickled so much. For today, I'm going to do it on my hand, but I, you can do it on your toes and I suggest you do. So we'll start with this thumb like it's the big toe and it goes, this little piggy went to the market this little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried wee, 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 all the way home. Oh, yes. Okay, should we try it on the other one? Okay, get your other piggies ready. Get your foot ready. And I will use my hand. Are you ready? This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried, wee, 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 all the way home. Well, we are down to the fun, experimental part of our STEAM story time. We listened to our story about the three little pigs and the houses they built. So the first little pig chose, does anybody remember? Say it up. Yep, straw, straw. And the wolf blew it down. And he huffed and puffed and it blew down. Then the second pig chose, does anybody remember? Shout it out. Sticks, you are right. The second pig chose sticks. Now wolf blow that down? He sure did. He huffed and puffed and blew it down. And those two little pigs had to run to the third little piggy who was very smart and built his house with, who remembers? Bricks. Yes. Good job listening, friends. So the third pig built his house with bricks. And could the wolf blow that down? Nope. The wolf could not blow it down. Now, I was thinking about what I have sitting around here at the library that I could build a house with, and I came up with some ideas. I have some cardboard blocks that look like bricks. Some of you might have played with these at school or at home. 
I also have some Play-Doh, like clay. And I have some paper cards. Have any of you ever made a um, house with cards or playing cards? I used to do that. When I was little, I used to build with cards. Well, these ones we could fold and build with them. And then I also had some cups. Now I just wanna use three things. So I wonder which of these three we should choose. Which one do you think a big bad wolf could not blow down? Yeah, I think that the Play-Doh, it could be a good idea. Let's see. Um, yep, you wanna try these? Wanna try the cards? Okay. What about these cups? Should we try these cups? Hmm, that could be interesting. We could make a very big tower. Okay, so we're gonna wait on the bricks this time, but we'll, you can do this experiment at home just like I am. Yes, you can. You can build a house and you don't have to use the same things I'm using. There are so many different things you could use. You could use marshmallows, you could build with straws, you could build with paper, cardboard boxes, you could build all kinds of things. Feel free to build with me. First, what should we start with first? The cups? Okay, so let's build with some cups. So there's one house, and now let's make a house out of cards. So I'm kind of folding them in half. And if you have index cards, you could do this at home. You can try balancing um, playing cards, but be careful. A lot of times you don't wanna bend your playing cards or they're not so easy to play with. Is your construction going? How does your house look? Okay, let's take a break with that one. That one looks pretty cool. Now, let's move over here. And, hmm, how should we do this? Should we roll it into logs? Maybe like a log cabin? Let's try that. Okay, well, we have three different houses. We have a cup house, we have a paper house, and we have a Play-Doh house. So, give me your best hypothesis. Which house will get blown down first? Hmm, this one? This one or this one? You think this one? Maybe. Some people think this one. We'll have to see. I didn't hear any votes for the Play-Doh. Hmm. Which one do you think will stay standing? It won't get blown down. The Play-Doh one? Maybe. Did I hear a vote for this one? Yeah, I heard one vote. Okay. Well, your hypotheses don't forget what your guesses were because that's that's kind of what a hypothesis is like your best educated guess what you know about these materials the paper's kind of light it might be easy to blow the cups mm, they're maybe not as light as the paper but they might blow the clay's kind of heavy maybe it won't blow so easily let's see so i'll try blowing from this direction oh no i already knocked it down i'm gonna set that back up since i wasn't blowing on it <laughs> of course that's what happened. Well, this one is not faring well already. 
Let me see if I can fix this in any way. Hmm. Okay. We are back in business. So I'm going to blow on this first one, the paper house. So ready? Huff and puff and blow it down. Yeah, that one came down. Okay, should we try the cups? I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow it down. That didn't work. It stayed up. Hmm. Okay. One more. The Play-Doh house. Well, I'm kind of getting out of breath here. Let's try it. that did not blow down. If you picked this house or this one to not blow down, you were right. If you picked this one, I'm sorry. Let's sing and have some fun. I'm a little piggy and it goes along like I'm a little teapot, but we're gonna do it with some different movements, like the ears. We're gonna make little piggy ears and a little piggy snout. And we're gonna, can you make that sound? Like a piggy? Mm -hmm. We're going to oink like piggies. And we're going to shake our tails. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it once and then we'll do it another time. So you can join in whenever you're ready. So it goes. I'm a little piggy, short and stout. Here are my ears and here is my snout. When I see the yummy food in my pail, I and I wiggle my tail. Yay! Good job. Let's do it again. I'm a little piggy, short and stout. Here are my ears and here's my snout. When I see the yummy food in my pail, I and I wiggle my tail. Good job, friends. Sorry that our STEAM story time is coming to an end, but I hope you'll join me next time. We do STEAM story time every Monday at 10.30 a.m. on Facebook, and you can also find our story time videos from story time snippets to STEAM story time on um, our YouTube channel, Finley Library, as well as our website. And we have a virtual story time space um, under our children's pull down tab. So you can watch videos in any of those places and join us for more exploration. Um, also, if you enjoyed today's story, I have some other books that you might love too on my virtual bookshelf. So I hope you'll check it out. You can stop into the library. You can also call us up for more suggestions or to put together a book for book bag for you to pick up from our curbside pickup, as well as check out our new bookmobile. Yeah, lots of ways to um, get new books. So until next time, I hope you will keep exploring and asking questions. Bye.